Well, Ange, better second half, but you looked so disappointed, so angry with your players at first half. What did you see that you didn't like? Um, yeah, no, look, it's it's not good enough. And uh, look, I've got to take responsibility for that. That's on me. Um, I'm the manager. I'm the one that's putting them out there. And um, there was nowhere near good enough. And um, as I said, I've got to have a look at sort of uh, myself in all this and see how can I can... Uh, have more of an impact. So, just on what you're saying there, where do you feel as manager you've fallen short? Well, when we put on a performance like we did in the first half, it means uh, obviously my message isn't getting through, so uh, that's for me to address. Okay. What was the message that, that didn't get through? Come on, mate. We didn't play well. I mean, what do you want me to sit there and write your dossier on where we went wrong? Like I said, I'll take responsibility. We were poor in the first half. Still think their goal was a foul, but no one cares about that. And um, but we didn't deserve anything more than that. And um, like I said, that's all, that's on me. Okay. Um, are you just looking for a bit of fluency in midfield? Have you got a few too many that have all lost form together? We definitely lost some conviction and belief in our football for sure. Um, for um, not just the midfield, just in general, I think we've lost a little, a little bit, like I said, belief and conviction in our football. And um, yeah, again, that's the responsibility on me is on me to change that. Uh, and defensive set pieces will come under the microscope again. Both goals came that way. Were you more unhappy, particularly with the first goal, with the with the build up to the free kick, even before that ball went in? I could see you were unhappy with something. Well, like I said, I mean, look, I thought the. Their goal was a foul, but aside from that, it wasn't about conceding the goal. It was about our approach to our football, and uh, we're just nowhere near good enough. We're nowhere near as um, positive as we need to be. Um, and again, uh, that's on me. Okay. Look, and I know you said in the build-up to this, you weren't concerned about set pieces. I think you said you weren't interested. Genuine question: When they seem to decide so many matches. Mm. Yeah. Why aren't you interested? Yeah, that's a really good question. I didn't say I wasn't interested. I said it's not my priority, but that's OK. If people think that what we're missing is set pieces, that's fine. Um, I'll do my job. OK. I remember you saying like when, when things were going well, the sun was shining, 10 unbeaten, there would be difficult moments. Did you, did you know kind of moments like this would be round the corner at some point? Yeah, we, we've, we've, we've been in a bit of a grind for a while now, but... You know, that's again, that's part of our challenge and part of our growth. Uh, you know, we're not sitting 18th in the table. OK, but how'd you get out of the grind? Yeah, we just go out there and perform. And um, sometimes you just got to grind it out and get through it. So, look, we were poor today um, and um, we didn't um, we didn't deserve to get anything out of the game. Yeah, look, and I know you said, you've said it many times, Champions League's not the be all and end all. But does that look a long way off now? I don't know how to answer these questions. As I said, we were poor today, and that's where my focus is. What's the point of thinking about anything else other than that we didn't perform today? And like I said, I've got to, my responsibility is to make sure that we uh, perform better next time. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.